A boy from communist Poland went on to become a billionaire with the medium of video games. And the craziest part is that he did it in a country where video games didn't exist. But now because of him, Poland has become one of the largest video game countries. This story is way crazier. Let's start from the beginning. It all started on June 30th, 1974. Marcin Iwinski was born in Poland. His country was under Soviet rule in those days. The Cold War affected the country badly. Marcin Iwinski got hooked on video games at an early age. Even though video games existed to almost none in Poland, the illegal market was still there. In the 1980s, the American video gaming market was booming. Every day there was a new game, and people were enjoying themselves and having the time of their lives. During his high school years, Marcin Iwinski began selling pirated video game copies on the Warsaw Black Market. This was his way of making a side income, but he had no idea how this path would change his and his country's fortunes. During this time, Marcin also met Misha Kaczyski, who was another video game seller. They both used to sell cracked game copies, and their friendship became stronger. They had a dream of doing what they loved legally, but during that time it wasn't possible. In 1991, the USSR fell apart. Poland also slowly began to transition from communism to the free market, and this is where Marcin and Michal saw an opportunity. They formed a brand new company to import CD-ROMs from the United States of America and sell them in Poland. They named the company CD Project. The only problem was that they were broke, so they had to use a friend's apartment as an office. This was an era when Polish people began to buy computers to help themselves with studies, work, and stuff. CD Projekt's plan was to localize CD-ROM games, but they had to face the hurdle of pirated video games. Poland was still filled with illegal video game discs, and it took CD Projekt a long time to finally establish themselves. Their first success was Ace Ventura, released in 1996. This game quickly gained popularity and helped CD Projekt. This gave them a boost, and they then went to launch Baldur's Gate and many other titles in Poland. They even began to hire local voice actors to increase the quality of the games. Everything was going perfectly for them. But still, something was missing. Something original needed to happen. Marcin Iwinski decided that they would go beyond distribution and produce their own game. So CD Projekt formed another division, CD Projekt Red. According to Iwinski, he and his partner had absolutely zero idea about video production, but they still jumped on it. First they needed an idea for the game. Something that is already popular in Poland, and they could save money on marketing costs. The most popular thing in Poland during that time was The Witcher, a series by Andrzej Sapkowski. They approached the author about a potential game and he agreed, but this was the easy part because a whole video game needed to be made. CD Projekt decided to take a step-by-step -step approach. They first spent an entire year making a demo which was unsurprisingly terrible. They showed the game to many European publishers, but every single one of them rejected it because of how poorly it was made. Everyone advised Iwinski and Kaczynski to give up on this project as it would not work, but they didn't. They both then formed a 15-person team to make a full-fledged video game about Witcher. They decided they would not back down and would give everything needed for this project. It took them year after year to produce the game. The development team grew from 15 to 100, and the production cost reached 20 million zloty. The company almost went bankrupt, but they did finish the game. After five years of development, they finished it, and Atari agreed to publish the game. The game did well, and it sold enough for them to make a sequel before something terrible came for them. The thing was, CD Projekt decided to make a console version of Witcher, and collaborated with a French studio called Widescreen Games, and this turned out to be the worst decision of their career. Widescreen games made CD Projekt's life hell by demanding more and more resources, and eventually the project was abandoned and the company filed bankruptcy. But that didn't stop them. They bounced back and began to work on a new engine and developed Witcher 2, Assassins of the King, and the game sold millions of copies. But their biggest success was yet to come. See, the first two Witcher games were good, but they were pretty restrictive, so CD Projekt decided to make an open-world game and this game cost them $81 million, but the game was Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, and this game literally exploded. 
It sold tens of millions of copies very quickly and won 260 Game of the Year awards, which was the most in history. Many critics hailed it as the greatest video game of all time. So this was the incredible story of Marcin Iwinski, Michael Kaczynski, and CD Projekt. It's absolutely crazy how a company went from bankruptcy to making one of the greatest video games of all time, while Netflix failed to make a decent series out of it. What are your thoughts about this incredible story? Make sure to comment that down, as well as your personal opinion about Witcher games. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and say goodbye.